Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and uh, this could be a very boring video. What happened was I had planned to go out to my son's place and uh, do a video of the construction that's going on nearby there because <laughs> the city is still growing and um, so I got my uh, battery for my Mavic Air 2, got it all charged up last night <clears throat> and then this morning things came up. We call it life interference uh, between a couple of doctor's appointments and getting insurance on that uh, fifth wheel that we have. The morning was wasting away and wasting away and it's supposed to get up to 105 degrees today. So uh, I don't want to fly my <laughs> drone when it's 105 because that's going to be real hard on the batteries. So finally I decided, <clears throat> well, I don't want to leave it charged up at 100%. So I took this little flight just to get the battery discharged and um, so I could store it until next time I needed to use it. By the way, I got the three battery pack and I've got them numbered and I use them uh, according to their number, you know, in order like one and then two and then three. But uh, uh, one of the things that if you're, if you're experienced, you know that LiPo batteries, uh, whether they're intelligent batteries or not, they need an intelligent user. <laughs> because you do not want to leave your LiPo batteries. That's lithium polymer. And lithium is a, is a, is a, a what is it called? Uh, an element. And then the polymer means plastic. And so I don't know exactly why they call it that. But anyway, the mix that when you mix the two together, you get a voltage. And so uh, something from the space age. Well, anyway, so <clears throat> a lithium uh, polymer battery, a LiPo battery, if you uh, leave it charged up 100% for a very long period of time, uh, it'll start eating away on itself. And I think the lithium uh, turns into a gas. And the parts of the battery where the lithium is turning into a gas are no longer usable for flying. In fact, DJI has... Uh, design their batteries so that after uh, I think it's five days if you have it fully charged and after five days uh, uh, you haven't used it it'll start automatically discharging itself down to a, a uh, you know a safe storage level it looks like somebody's moving out <laughs> right there well anyway so a, a lithium polymer battery you do not want to leave it fully charged and you do not want to leave it uh, really discharged. The, the, according to everything I've read, somewhere between 50 and 65% uh, is a good uh, shelf uh, voltage uh, percentage. So um, if you're, uh, like if I'm flying and I uh, do quite a few flights on one battery or I make a long flight on one battery, uh, well then, uh, when I get home after it's cooled off, then I'll get a time, set a timer for like 20 minutes and put it on charge. And then at the end of 20 minutes, I'll check to see uh, what it looks like. One of the things I've learned is with the four dots that you have on the battery, uh, if you've got two dots showing, you can store it with just two dots showing and it'll be a lot safer than just one dot or all four dots okay so two dots are okay and two dots and the third dot flashing is uh, is also okay because that's probably up around the 60 uh, 65 percent area so <clears throat> with your uh, lipo battery uh, all your lipo batteries that you have uh, you have to kind of keep track of that I ruined a really nice $60 battery for another airplane because I got it all charged up. I was going to use it and then I didn't. Things came up and then the next thing you know, uh, a month or two later I remembered or I went to get it and it was puffy because what happens is the, I think it's the lithium turns to gas and then the, the battery becomes puffy. And I've also had a DJI battery that uh, I mistreated and it got puffy and in fact it wouldn't even stay in the in the clamp on the on the uh, Mavic uh, 2 zoom
So <clears throat> lithium-ion batteries. If you're new to uh, to, to lith lipo batteries, if you're if you just got your uh, Mavic Air 2 and uh, you don't have never had any experience with lipo batteries, just remember uh, a, a nice 15-minute flight will generally get the voltage down to about uh, storage level. Uh, and if you fly longer, well, then you can put a set a timer for 20 minutes, you know, and uh, charge it up a little bit when you get home when it's cooled off. And never put a hot battery on charge. Always make sure that uh, the battery is room temperature and then put it on charge. Now, the nice thing about the Mavic Mini is it uses lithium ion batteries and you can leave them charged up and uh, they don't destroy themselves. But uh, uh, with the with the uh, LiPo batteries that are used in the Mavic Air 2, uh, you have to be careful to keep, leave them uh, stored at somewhere between 50 and 60, 65%. So anyway, I uh, hope that's not too boring. Thanks for going a ride, uh, for a ride with me. And uh, thanks for watching. And God bless.